What's going on, guys? Joe with MGRC.com. Welcome, Asuga. So, from Team Corrali. Pretty cool. Um, I didn't hear anything about it until yesterday, and then I had some friends who were like, hey, you know you know what's going to happen? And I was like, I already told my distributor was like, hey, these things are coming, and we'll have information for you tomorrow, which is that day. But uh, I had sent an email out. These were available late last night. And so I sent the email out, sent some information out on, on uh, social media. So I know some of you guys have been checking them out. So speaking of checking out, they're already ready to go. You can order them. We get them shipped to you. So, But I'll put links down in the description below for you. Pretty cool that uh, Team Crowley came out with two different versions, a roller and also an RTR. So the roller, just jump really quick into that one, is that it does come with a radio and receiver, but you'll still need your servo, your speed controller, and motor. Obviously, you're going to need a charger and batteries for this thing. XT, you know, 90s, things of that is what they show. Obviously, they're kind of going off the same profile of what the ready-to-run would be, which would have already XT90 plugs and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and you know what that one is because it's going to be similar to it anyway. This one, I got more pictures loaded up on the ready-to-run so we can see like the chassis layout and things. Like that. I'm going to make it pretty short because you guys can take a look at this. And if you've already been checking it out, you're like, okay, cool. He's got them in. So let me get one from, you know, Joe at OMGRC. Cool, man. I definitely appreciate that one. So, um, yeah, we can see, like, as far as the way the structural here, you know, as far as the upper brace. So that's definitely nice. There's a lot more to it. Like I said, you can kind of skim over this and you can kind of compare things, you know, of that. So I do like it. I like the little protectors. I'm going to just kind of scoping out a few things that are here on the vehicle. I do like as far as when it comes to the black and red vehicle, and I'll kind of go back over that one. So for me personally, I'm just throwing out my own personal opinion, preferences, is I like the black and red one. And the reason why is because everything kind of flows together with the black, or I mean, sorry, the green and orange, green, <laughs> green and red. For the most part on that one, eh, yeah. I would like to see it green. That'd be pretty awesome if they had them anodized green and then anodized blue. You guys let me know what you guys think. That'd be kind of cool, right? I think it'd be pretty cool. Just nitpicking on that part of it. Overall, I do like it, and I'm I'm definitely happy that they've come out with a little bit larger buggy. The buggy, like the Python and the Radix, they're nice, but they were smaller for a 1.8 scale, and I think that probably fits the 1.8 scale area anyway. But I was like, man, I have my Shogun. I was like, that thing's quite a bit smaller. And so it's nice that this one, a little bit bigger and such. So, yeah, you can kind of see a comparison here. Here's the Radix. So you kind of get an idea like, oh, it's only, you know, it's only 15%, you know, larger what they show there. No fluff, you know, as far as that one goes. So like, not like, oh, it's 75% or <laughs> like, clearly it's not. But yeah, so there's not a huge difference. But it is definitely a little bit bigger. You can at least they show you all the specs here too, as far as in millimeters. So yeah, that's pretty awesome on that part of it. And uh, I like the skid plate. I like man, the arms are definitely beefy. On the yeah, you can see here. I like the skid plate part of it. Would have liked to have that on my Shogun because my Shogun doesn't have the skid plates. I don't remember seeing those. So uh, yeah, I don't think it has those. So those are definitely a nice feature. I like it as far as now they have like push a limit. Pretty cool. Engineered to be the fastest. So they're working on it, you know, as far as, you know, getting their own like kind of styling in there. So I definitely can appreciate that one. Uh, let me know what you guys think about like it'd be kind of cool because, you know, people are going to be maybe a little bit more rough with this thing. Maybe some kind of like film protector. I don't know. I don't know how well those really work. I've never used one or anything like that. But I know on aluminum chassis, you just start to get the little nicks and scratches and gouges and things like that depending on what surface you're running on um so yeah like a little bit of a film protector would be kind of nice maybe it's something that they could add in there or maybe it's just an option that like hey we got one of those film protectors you know you want to you know save a little bit of your chassis from getting beat up then we got you covered maybe it's clear you know so you can still see through it and all that good stuff so you guys let me know but it's just kind of throwing it out there but yeah all in all that's that Oh, I did want to kind of just jump onto one thing real quick. Cause I was like, you know, as far as these bearings go, I was like, okay, yeah, these ABEC, ABEC, I guess, however you say it, ABEC, right? Uh, three. And I was like, okay, yeah, I've seen these like on like 
roller skating and, and whatever, all these different like threes, fives, sevens, whatever the heck they all mean. So I was like, all right. So this is a little bit like, oh. So they say here, these ABEC bearings, you know, skateboarding and things, but they don't roll very smooth or fast. And I was like, this is supposed to be a performing car. So they say like here, the fives, you know, nor I don't know how, how much I should take of what this person or whoever wrote this up, but um, maybe someone's more into bearings and everything like that. I don't really get into it much, but I just went to look and I was like, oh, okay. So you can kind of see. So when I saw that, I was like, oh, I wonder if those are going to be more expensive or whatever bearings. And I was like, oh, they don't. So yeah, I'd be kind of curious to know, is that really a factor too much with these? I've never really, the either bearings are either metal or they're bushings. I know they're ceramic ones and whatever, but all right. Well, I rambled on a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I appreciate you guys watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check us out at omgrc.com. Until next time, catch you real soon. Peace.